streaming. Let's see. Am I live? Uh, let's see. Not quite. Still going. You have to be a little bit patient. <clears throat> I sometimes talk too much. All right, here we go. We are live on D Live, and let us go ahead and start the stream elsewhere. All right. Systems are a go. Um, let me wait and see a little bit. Okay, looks like I am on. Interesting. All right, welcome everybody. It's been a long week. Um, you guys haven't seen me for a while. Well, this entire week my son has been sick. It's a weird cycle between my son being sick and me being sick and uh, hopefully this weekend the cycle breaks and um, we won't get sick uh, I'm feeling pretty good I'm pretty tired exhausted I mean um, what are you gonna do right <coughs> so um on Wednesday so one of the things that I do to ensure that my son sleeps and takes a nap is I let him um, I let him sleep in the car and so I just drive around and he falls asleep and then I just stay in the car until he's done napping and um, during this time uh, usually I'm in my basement working on stuff so I don't go outside very much uh, I don't notice geoengineering and stuff like that until <laughs> this Wednesday uh, December 12th in the morning there's more uh, actually we'll see the timestamps for those of you who don't think geoengineering uh, and chemtrails are just a method of dispersal geoengineering <clears throat> if you don't think geoengineering exists or it's just big conspiracy theory look all i have to do is show you this it's pretty easy and let's go ahead and um start with oh crap <clears throat> Oh, alt two. There we go. That's why. Geoengineering. Geoengineering over Columbus, Nebraska. Morning of twelve twelve. Hi, month of one 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 one. Yeah, it's been a long time. So, I'm gonna show you just a Google search that you can do. You're thinking, how is Ebon going to prove geoengineering isn't a conspiracy theory by just doing a simple Google search or two? Well, here we go. All you have to do is use. <clears throat> Google, right? Like I, I don't use Google, but I use Google as a point, right? You're not gonna use DuckDuckGo. You're, you're, you're still not. You still, I don't know what. You're still asleep. Whatever it is, you're going, huh? Geoengineering.gov. Wait a second. Noah is talking about geoengineering. Global. Um, I mean, there's government publishing office that's talking about geoengineering. What there's a house resolution about geoengineering wow isn't that a little bit odd there's just a lot of government institutions talking about geoengineering and you can even see about it in nsf.gov like you don't have to believe me you just do the search yourself and then of course you can go ahead and do think of any the most prestigious university out there you can think harvard university of course is anybody able to spoof the harvard.edu domain? No, they're not going to be able to. They've got research program, geoengineering research programs going on. So tell me, is this geoengineering thing a big old conspiracy theory? Well, that's for you. I mean, if you don't think so, <laughs> uh, I don't know what you're taking, but... Uh, it must be was it the blue pill maybe it's the red pill i don't remember okay <clears throat> so enough of that i am just going to show you a couple of videos that i recorded on my cell phone it's muted um this is 
over Pawnee Park West. I saw it while I was driving and I was going, huh. That's weird. It's like I've never seen that before. And I looked and I counted a lot of the planes that were flying. Uh, you may not be able to see a lot of planes now. Um, it was just the... I just had to go out and, and film it. And you can see a lot of the trails <clears throat> uh, that, that were left over. They're very, very straight. Um, and you can see that the, the higher clouds out there seems more natural. Uh, they're, they're kind of going the opposite direction. Perpendicular to uh, those longer streaks. I was going, okay, it's just cloud formations, normal, you know, let's just, I'm, let's be sane now. And then just the amount of planes are going over. Look, this is Columbus, Nebraska. And um, how many people travel on hump day, Wednesday, to Omaha, Nebraska, right? And you can see there's uh, one of them. One of the planes, actually there's a second one a little bit below, and there are certain planes that you'll see that um, I recorded there. They don't have those long contrails. It's pretty short. And um, on some of them, you seem very long. It's like, okay. Well, my, my son was still awake at this point. And um, you can see right here is another one. I probably should use the mouse. <clears throat> so this one right here is a long one. You could see another one there. So that's that part. Uh, let's go ahead and play another one. You have to excuse me. It's a little bit slow. So you can see the timestamp here. Um, you can see these. These seem like the normal clouds. And then you'll see these. And then here's another plane out there. So one of the things I'm thinking of is, you know, some of them don't seem to appear to, to have anything like lasting out there. I don't know how long it takes. I'm not really a geoengineering scientist or whatever. And that one's a pretty long one there. Um, and I don't know how, how long until you see an effect, right? I mean, these look definitely like it's been there for a while. And then how come on some of these planes, uh, you know, they don't show anything. Maybe they ran out. I don't know. I just have to say I don't know. Uh, you can see right here, there's another one. Uh, they're all pretty much going the same direction. And you can see uh, in the other videos that I'll show that they actually go in the opposite direction, but they don't seem to go perpendicular I don't know why <clears throat> and one of the things that I'm wondering is just, what's the point you can see here's another long one here's one that I was saying that was going the other way you see it's not perpendicular perpendicular ah, shit <laughs> uh, perpendicular it's it's hor it's a uh, parallel you see that one's going that way you got another one there another one there and another one there and Another one there, and you can see some of the longer streaks here. It's just like, and you can see one going backwards. It's like, why are there so many planes out here? Where are they going? Why are they flying in the same directions? Like, this has got to be some geoengineering thing. That's the most plausible explanation. Other than that, there's just been a lot of plane rides to Omaha, Nebraska. I was just wondering why. One of the things I did do is I go went to weather.com. And within weather.com, I just checked the weather, the 10-day forecast, see if there's anything changed. I took it on Wednesday. I took it on Thursday. I took it on Friday, today. And there doesn't seem to be a difference in, in temperature changes. And you can see that one was pretty, pretty good. And here, finally, this is more in the uh, afternoon. Um, I just wanted to check and see 
how things were out there, and there's still stuff going on. This is kind of right outside my house. Uh, it is right so right so my house. Ah, sorry. And um, yeah, they're still going at it. A couple hours later, it's like three or four hours later, still going at it. Someone has to explain that to me. All right, so uh, that's that's it. Just I just want to tell people that there was geoengineering going over Columbus, Nebraska, probably other parts like Monroe and whatnot. I don't know why. Well, that's a big question, right? <clears throat> I mean, they don't seem to do this everywhere, um, not at the same time. But uh, yeah, it's weird. Um, I'll probably do an open topic, just kind of discuss what I'm, I've been looking into while I'm, while I'm doing some stuff, um, what I'll probably talk about next and what I hope to talk about, uh, with an interview with someone, but, uh, we'll leave it that, at that for this one. Uh, I just want to show people that there's geoengineering over my own town, in this small town. Like we're an hour and a half drive <clears throat> west of Omaha, Nebraska. And those are pretty much directly overhead. Um, I don't know many flight paths that go <laughs> through Columbus, Nebraska. I don't really see that many planes. We even have like an airfield right next to here. <coughs> okay. That's it. I'll see if it ever happens again. Hopefully, I'll be more prepared, and um, I'll probably take a, a couple of pictures with uh, my camera, digital camera, which is, you know, has better zoom than than uh, this camera, my phone. But I, I do like recording things, uh, just to show people afterwards. Hey, it's live. You get a timestamp. You're seeing me live present it, even though it has been two days later. But, ah. Uh, Anyways, that's it. I'll see you guys in a few.